One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666 and you're watching me play Doom Eternal. We are back on our way to track down hell priests that are leading the demonic invasion of Earth and ruin their days because we're the Doom guy and that's what we do. I forgot, I did to go look at the... Uh, we got more stuff. Let's read about the imp. Weakness. Bullets! The imp. Scavengers of the underworld imps are among the most common of beasts found on the scorched surface of the hellscape. Lesser demons of hell, the imp possesses limited intelligence driven only by a hunter's impulse to seek out prey. A task for which the imp is naturally suited due to its innate capacity for violence. As a result of these attributes, the imp makes for an ideal foot soldier and is oft deployed in the warring legions of hell, easily manipulated and controlled by commanding highborn demons at the behest of the sovereign chapters. It is common for the imp to appear at the front line of an offensive attack, an expendable resource unleashed in great numbers to overcome and break through the enemy front. Let's look at soldiers. Weakness. Shotgun. Plasma rifle. Blood punch! Once frontline infantry fighting to protect Earth from the demon invasion, the Hell soldiers have been claimed by darkness, turning them against their fellow soldiers in the midst of battle. And apparently they still have a bone or two to pick with demons. Because, you know, we've seen them fighting, infighting already. Arachnatron. Arachnatrons are built with genetic material recovered from the remains of the original spider mastermind. Bioengineered for cyber augmentation. While its actual body exhibits only limited mobility, the oddly cerebral qualities of the Arachnatron make it a prime candidate for the impulse-controlling prosthetic frame that is now that it now permanently inhabits. The UAC facility responsible for the Arachnatron's creation, intending to engineer and weaponize demons of their own design, was overrun after an outbreak occurred inside of its assembly plant, killing everyone inside. Oh boy, UAC, what are you doing? The facility, still operating under the directive of the administrative AI, continues to manufacture Arachnatrons autonomously. Good job there, UAC. You done goofed. And the Cacodemon. We haven't shot any yet, but we got an entry for it. Ooh, weakness. Fire a sticky bomb or frag grenade into its mouth. Hun Hunters of s the Sloughlands. The Cacodemon lurks the bottomless and murky depths of hell in search of easy prey. An aimless wanderer, the Cacodemon is mostly devoid of cognitive ability, sensory awareness, and otherwise commonly occurring impulses. Driven only by a singular desire to feed, the Cacodemon is likely to appear wherever there is flesh to be consumed, bringing it with, an, with it an insatiable propensity for hunger. It is said that the Cacodemon bears some resemblance to the cycloptic titans of ancient hell lore, leading sentinel scholars to believe that the forgotten titans may yet live and on in some disembodied form. Feed it a grenade! Ooh, he's got little dangly arms. Yeah, he used to have little dangly arms. Alright, so, anyways, got a place to go there, but before that, I need a secret around here I want to go scope out. Side. Yeah, so there's that. There's some way to get up on the top of all of that. Behold the fruits of our labor. Yes, you've done such a fine job. Damn it. I see. I was trying to get up there earlier. I just didn't have the. Uh... I found a secret. I found a little imp toy. Just didn't have the proper angle of approach when I was trying to jump up the rubble earlier. All right. Well, that's easy. We've done. Let's go punch through this wall over here. Bye, buddy. 
Wall climb! Attach to walls by pressing buttons. Climb, look around, and jump to other places. Squish goes the zombie head. Ooh, that's a mech looking thing of some sort. Neat. A one up. Extra life. Immediately revive you if you die. Okay. And then if I lose them all, they. I go back to a checkpoint. Okay, cool. All right, let's go wall climbing. Yellow key card. I probably didn't need to do that. There's, like, shotgun ammo right there. Whatever. No, I don't think it is. Oh, who put that Arachnatron there? I don't know what this is, but you should eat it. It'll probably do bad things to you. Note to self, Arachnatron snacks. Not good for you. Any secret hidey things in here is just, just a... Uh... Oh, hold up. There's an extra life up there somewhere. And a lore bit up there somewhere. Oh. Hold on! Gotta turn around. I go exploring. Ha! Remaining human populations, part two. Although several hundred thousand are. More were safely evacuated out of orbit in the mass exodus following the invasion. The expected odds of survival is considered unlikely for many of these lifeboats carrying cryogenically frozen passengers. Religious iconography and communes are now commonplace among survivors, with the collective perception of events taking on a biblical nature. Many seek authority from a higher power to rationalize the sudden destruction of their world, believing these events to be a for to represent a form of divine punishment. Nah, it's not really that. It's just... We tried to uh, mine hell for resources to solve our energy problem, and well, that didn't go very well. Oh, hello, upgrade thing. Yeah. Let's see. Precision bolt. Semi-automatic loader that fires a high-precision, high-powered round. Turns it into the sniper rifle. Or micro-missiles. Oh, yes. Micro-missiles. Thank 
you, little robot. What is that? Oh, that's the shoulder cannon thing. Frag grenade! Press that or that to launch a grenade which explodes! Damages and falters any demons hit by the blast. Combo it with other weapons. Gradually recharges over time. Weak point, caca demon. Shoot it in the mouth. You're not using that, are you? Here, have one of your snacky bits. Oh, I didn't make him eat it. I just stuck it inside of him. Oh, he brought a friend. It's Bring a Friend Free Friday. Here, give me some ammo. Where'd you go? I wasn't done with you. Ooh, in half, in the middle. Yeah, they weren't kidding about, uh, I don't think I've noticed my chainsaw fuel recharging by itself once yet. It seems to take a long time. Anything here to find does not appear to be. No secrets. Ha <laughs> ha your head is inside your shoulders in your rib cage where it's not supposed to be Tee hee, I'm hiding. Alright, we'll use anything else here. That's a big looking mech. Shame it doesn't seem to have helped much. Big open spot. Figured something would have shown up to go bleh out here. I guess not. The UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. I don't think the UAC is good people, ladies and gentlemen. He 
chopped my face and my health went away. Let's go pick up some of this ammo. We welcome you, brothers and sisters. This R do. Nothing yet, apparently. Eh. Ugh. Stuck on scenery. the codex entry. Formation of the Ark. Following the total collapse of international civilization, nations and boundaries as we know them have ceased to exist. A handful of remaining bureaucrats, government officials, and military leaders have managed to survive by use of protective bunkers kept secret to the greater population. Convening under the flag of the allied nations, this governing body represents all that remains of the rule of law, forming what would essentially become a single world government. Military bases in communication with the AN have made efforts to regroup and centralize their areas of command, establishing fortified safe havens for survivors, stockpiling food, and scavenging for supplies. Only proprietary military use communications remain functional, enabling military entities under the command of the Allied Nations to coordinate in humanitarian aid and defense operations. By 2151, the formation of the Ark has taken highest priority and is considered to be, in all practical terms, the last hope for humanity. Together we survive. Armored Response Coalition. Well, we can have ourselves a fight up here. Excuse me, tentacle. Gross. Not every tentacle hole has one inside. Sometimes tentacles can be very big. The subject of great scrutiny for arc scientists on Earth, these hell growth formations have appeared all over the planet, taking hold wherever hell has made its presence known. Forming chaotic, seemingly random structural patterns, the propagation of hell growth has taken root at an alarming rate, exhibiting a cellular reproduction cycle that arc scientists fear may become impossible to contain. The resultant environmental effect is extremely hostile to terrestrial life, producing atmospheric biocontagions and a multitude of organic hazards. Wherever these nest-like formations emerge, they are protected by swathes of defensive tendrils. Long-thorned tentacles that demonstrate keen awareness of their surroundings, fully capable of disemboweling anything that it deems to be a potential threat to the nest. Sir. Oh. You weren't using that arm, were you? Oh, that's a grenade button. I don't know why I was pushing it, thinking I could crouch. There's no crouching in Doom. At least not this Doom. Doom 3, maybe. I think there was a crouch in Doom 3. Well, how am I going to get up there? Why? Well, probably through this convenient hole in the ceiling. What did I find? Infinite lives! Cheat codes! Activate specific modifiers and mission select. Save progression, but you cannot pick up items that conflict with your current cheat. For example, in-world runes are locked with the all runes cheat. Playing missions with cheat codes hides the slayer key. Play missions to find all items, finish all encounters, and experiment with locked weapons or upgrades. Okay. Good old fashioned shenanigans. We don't need no stinking cheat codes right now, though.
eat that. Let's go up the floor. Oh, it's a climb over the wall. health drops. for my shotgun I did. Alright. Of course I gotta sneak into the elevator somehow. Chainsaw gas. Shotgun. Forget about the future. To suffer is to be present. Sounds like a terrible idea, spokes lady. I'd like to talk to your manager. Did I leave some auto rifle rounds down here? I guess they're cannon rounds. It's an auto cannon. It's too big to be a rifle anymore. Don't think so. Just health packs. My left foot. Oh, okay, those are fireball spitters in the wall.
That's bones coming out of an arm. I think it's broken. <laughs> just got an achievement. Damn it, they just keep breaking! Or some shit. Alright, I need ammo. I have no bullets! Hmm. This could prove problematic, ladies and gentlemen. I have an extra life, though. That works. on your hut. Well, let's not fall down. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe it is about time to wrap it up for this part. Because it is getting to be about that time. This seems like a good place to do a wrap-up. Gotta remember, I got this grenade launcher, too. So, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shot, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I'm a terrible person because I ran out of ammo. How silly of me. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way, you always be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NanaWillie666, as I will be using that to make news, updates, and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I am NanaWillie666, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>